first post we want to talk about is this one courtesy of the tfax sub k reddit it says bapa talking to tulsi about his hot button issues so let's see brendan Schaub attempt to talk politics with the one and the only tulsi gabbard more like tulsi hottie <laughs> get it anyway cool all these people that we can't we own documentation you just lend them in you know, a lot of them are Chinese. There's and people <laughs> when they think of border, they think Mexicans. Mexicans aren't coming here. The majority of them are not Mexican. Yeah. And the American they think Chinese. Even the way he says Chinese is almost kind of racist, isn't it? The way Brenda says Chinese is kind of racist. I don't know what some the way he says Chinese. There's something racist about the way he says Chinese. One more time. All these people that we can't we don't document. These, all these people. Who? What people? <laughs> all these people what type of people what do you mean by that as drewski would say what do you mean by that Tation, <laughs> you just lend them in let them you know in. a lot of them are chinese there's chinese <laughs> one more time chinese, there's the, a lot of them are chinese there's you know a lot of them are chinese there's the, in, you know a lot of them are chinese there's the, and people when they think of border they think mexicans mexicans aren't coming Oh, when, they, when people think of borders, they think like Mexi borders, right? Like Mexi kids, right? Mexi kids, Mexi borders. It's not actually Mexicans. I'm in here. The majority of them are... So Mexicans aren't immigrating to the United States, illegally or legally. Is that what you're trying to say? Cool. Not Mexican. Yeah. Where are Mexicans going then instead? Are they going to Sri Lanka? Are they going to Zanzibar? Where, sh where are Mexicans going? Ibiza, right? Where are they actually going? Where are these Mexicans going? Are they going to Dubai? <laughs> <laughs> Mexicans aren't <laughs> they're, not, they're not trying to get into the States anymore to make a better life for themselves and their family. Nah man. They're not doing that anymore. They're coming over here to the UK. Yeah you know I mean they're trying to go they're trying to move into they're trying to move to the Isle of Wight. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to move to Hastings. And the American public doesn't realise that. You're allowing all Oh, so the American public does realize that, but you do realise that. Cool. Brendan realizes stuff that American public doesn't realise. Thank you for letting us know. All sorts of people and yeah. terrorists, everybody. Yeah. And if you're uh, if you're the Biden cabinet and your idea is just to get that mail in ballot, well, it hold on. So he's he thinks that they're letting all the all the immigrants through because they're banking on mail in ballots. Is that how it works? Can you just can you vote in an election in the United States if you're an immigrant and you don't have any legal documentation? Is that is that possible? Can you can you take part in a vote? Can you actually vote if you if you're an illegal immigrant? Is that possible? doesn't sound like it makes sense <laughs> why would you be able to vote <laughs> what <laughs> this doesn't sound like it's real but hey i don't know what i'm talking about at what cost well they're not allowed you're, to you're, vote you're allowing actually, some terrorist in there well, yeah. so mexican terrorists not mexican terrorists are migrating into the states in order to vote and to be terrorists. Legal no. aliens are not allowed to vote, technically. Also, describing immigrants as illegal aliens is the most American dehumanizing thing ever. It's bad enough that you call them illegals, but then reducing them to illegal aliens. Extraterrestrial. Imagine calling another human... Imagine reducing a human... Isn't that similar to what the Nazis did with Jews back in the day? Where they used to call them fucking roaches, right? Back in the old... Uh, Back in the old, back in the old Hitler days, didn't they used to dehumanize um, Jewish people by calling them roaches? It wasn't that what they did by saying that they were, they were insects that they had to be exterminated. Dehuman isn't that the first part of like reducing somebody? <laughs> what is illegal aliens? Why do you guys do that in America? Why do you guys call illegal immigr or like you know immigrants that haven't come over legally illegal aliens? Is that because the aliens is like an acronym? Is that what it means? Is, is aliens an acronym for something else? Right, but but what it is is right now. Anyway, I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed Brendan talking at Tulsi Gabbard, and not actually and not actually asking her a question. Somebody who is, from what I remember, is on the fucking the rumor mill is that she may be a fucking VP cabin, cabin a VP candidate for Trump. Um, you know, if he ends up fucking running for election, or he's obviously running for election, but if he ends up fucking, you know, becoming president, she's a VP candidate, and she's sitting right across from him. All this incredible knowledge, right, experience. Maybe she's fallen off a bit, cool, but she's still, you know, 
she's still got some insights that you'd probably want to hear. And Brennan's over here talking at her about Chinese. One more time. One more time. All these people that we can't, we don't have documentation, you just lend them in. Let you know, a lot in. of them are Chinese. There's, Chinese. And people, when they think of border, they think Mexicans. Mexicans mm -hmm. aren't coming here. The majority of them are not Mexican. The and the American public doesn't realize that. You're allowing all sorts of people and yep. terrorists, everybody. Yep. And if you're a, if you're the Biden cabinet and your idea is just to get that mail-in ballot, well, at what cost? Well, they're not allowed you're, to you're, vote. You're actually, allowing so some terrorist in there. Well, yeah, illegal no. aliens are not allowed to vote technically, right? But but what? I like how she kind of zoned out there and checked her phone. Did you guys see that? You see Tulsi kind of zone out there. Look her face. She's got the zone out face. Look, you know when someone's just talking at you and not letting you speak. Look her face. She's got the zone out face. She's got the face. Someone knows that he's not. He's not let. Right. It's Tulsi Gabbard bigger than Brian Callen. Tulsi Gabbard could actually pick up Brian Callen, couldn't she? Fuck, bro. She's all woman, isn't it? Look how small Brian is compared to Tulsi Gabbard. Look. Look at her. <laughs> he looks like a little child next to her. He's big red chair. But anyway, um, look, at, she gets so bored, she checks her phone. Look, Brendan's just talking at her. Watch her check her phone. Yep. And if you're, a, if you're the Biden cabinet and your idea is just to get that mail-in ballot, well, she's so bored. at what cost? Well, they're not allowed you're, to vote. You're, you're allowing she's some... <laughs> she's so bored. Brendan has a really good skill at being able to bore somebody senseless when, when they're in an interview. He does have a really good skill at that. She's so fucking bored. <laughs> Bless her. She's so bored. <sighs> that was fucking brilliant. Big up fucking Brendan. You gotta fucking love that guy, honestly. He fucking found a way to fucking talk at Tulsi Gubbard about fucking politics the same way he's fucking, you know, tried to educate, what you call it, Sammy the Ball about fucking gangs and shit and the mob. That was one of my best. That's one of the best. That's one of my. That's one of my favorite clips. I'm not gonna lie. Ever that I've ever watched. Um, let's uh, let's watch this other clip too. There's another one too. This one's called Papa asked Papa asks Tulsi Gabbard why nobody's attempted to assassinate Donald Trump. What? Let's actually. I haven't watched this yet, but let's watch this. Big up, uh, Hey Mark Wigsky from the T5K subreddit for this clip. And away from. Exactly. What's wild to me? This might be a hot take, and we have to edit this. Let me know. But like back in the day when a president, like if Trump was in the 60s, like like uh, JFK was, they figured out a way to get rid of him, right? JFK, see ya, dude. We're out of here. You go against Cuba and the missile crap, you're out of here. Bay of Pigs, you're out of here. I can't believe with Trump, they, they as much as they, there's never been a more hated candidate, there's never been a more hated president from the Democrats than Trump. How there hasn't been some sort of... Hey, that hey, we know hey, of. bro. Be, Easy. You know what I'm saying? But what was JFK then? There's never been a more hated president than Trump. But then you're saying JFK got assassinated because of what? Huh? No. No, it's it's I'm gonna say What kind of I'm confused about even the question. Why hasn't somebody tried to assassinate Donald Trump? For what though? I'm confused. Do, do you guys figure out what you're trying to say? What are you trying to say here? Do you guys know? One more time. I, I will with here, here's, passionation. No, I know, but here's what gotten he, away from. Exactly. What's wild to me, this might be a hot take. You have to edit this, let me know. What did he say? Passionation. Was that bad at the end? Say no. No, it's it's I'm not gonna say, say I, the word I, but I rhymes with here, here's, passionation. No, I I'm not gonna say the word, but it rhymes with passionation. That's not a word, bro. Passionation isn't a word. I'm not gonna say the word. Yeah, because it's not a fucking word. You know, no, it's it's. I'm gonna say, say I, the word I, I that rhymes with hear, passionation. No, I know. Passionation. Yeah, could you maybe let her answer the question as well? By the way, we we know what you meant. We get it. We're not fucking as dumb as you. We know what you were kind of insinuating. We know what you were heavily hinting towards. Maybe let her answer the question without interrupting her. Maybe. You know, no, it's it's. I'm going to say, say I, the word I, that rhymes with here, passionation. No, I know. Oh, honestly, bro. How does Brendan have two degrees? How does Brendan have two degrees? Also, didn't he say that he thinks Donald Trump is the most hated president of all time? Cool. But then he's saying that JFK got assassinated because of the Cuba missile crisis and shit. So is he kind of trying to insinuate that JFK was a Republican. 
that was also hated. That's why he got assassinated. But wasn't JFK Democrat? I'm not mistaken. Wasn't JFK a Democrat? So technically, Republicans, by his logic, by Brennan's logic, Republicans killed JFK. So he's asking, why don't Democrats kill Trump? <laughs> what? <laughs> He's wondering why AOC doesn't just pull a pull up pull, pull up with a stick. Like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I love how he's also assuming that JFK was assassinated <laughs> for the shit that was happening in Cuba. Just that one reason, right? I think Quayle said it right. JFK gave fit fumbling Cuba. He just had to take him out. He's not doing a good enough job. They gave him enough warnings. Oh my God, bro. This guy has two degrees. This guy's a millionaire. He has like five cars. He lives in a mansion in LA and he's legitimately maybe a single digit IQ person. And the funny thing about Brendan though, which I kind of has always kind of been impressed by is that his intellect isn't like you know, sometimes, how, how do you say this? You know, when you're smart, again, you know, when you're kind of smart about, no, you know, when you're knowledgeable about your area of expertise, but then you bump into somebody or you start talking to somebody that knows a bit more, a bit more about you. So that knows a bit more than you do. Usually a normal, well-adjusted person will be like, oh shit, kind of impressed. Like shit, that person knows a bit more than I do. And you kind of like, I wouldn't say you look you lower yourself, but you're almost kind of like, you know, you almost take a bit of a back seat and let them kind of lead the convo a bit, and then maybe throw in some questions here and there to learn new things. But you don't try and like flex yourself and be like, no, I know more. When you clearly know the person across from you knows way more than what you do. So I love that Brendan doesn't really have that, not even humility. He doesn't have that fear. That like, is it intellectual fear? Whatever that thing I'm trying to think of, he doesn't have that ability. So he's sitting in front of Tulsi Gubbard talking about politics and you'd imagine because it's politics, okay, let me fucking, you know, let me let the woman who fucking ran for president to let, you know what I mean? Let her fucking, I know she's fallen off a bit and she's not what she used to be and she maybe talks a bit of shit here and there, but still, she's way more qualified to talk about politics than I am. Maybe let's give her the floor. <laughs> nah. He just starts throwing out these fucking these conspiracy theories that he half read on his phone while he's drinking and driving and taking his kids to school that's the thing that's most impressive about me that like he really doesn't have ability to be like like okay let me just like chill and let her speak because she knows more he even he even starts talking more loudly he talks starts talking more like passionately it's also like you know really go for it it's like bro let her speak bro she kind of probably knows more than you do like you know give her this <sighs> impressive in fuck impressive big up big up brendan man um yeah it no let's play that one more time it rhymes with passion what was that passionate Please, you know what i'm saying though no it's it's you know what i'm saying though no let me play that, one more. that was good that was good one. you know what i'm saying though no it's Easy. You know what I'm saying though? No, no. it's it's I'm gonna say, say the I, word that rhymes with here, passionation. No, I know, but here rhymes with here, here's, passionation. No, I but wouldn't, rhymes with here, here's, passionation. No, I know. Passionation. Oh my god, man. I would love to be that dumb and be that paid. I think that's the I think that's what I'm missing in life. I think I put too much pride or no, I think I put too much value in my intellect or i put too much value in trying to learn things i play too much i put too much value in trying to be a student i put too much value in uh you know asking questions because i think actually being dumb being redacted is actually the best way to go about life because when you're dumb i don't think you have an, a concept or an idea that you're dumb you probably think you're way smarter than what you actually are but when you think you're tr but when you're trying to learn things or when you think you've got some level of intellect it can maybe sometimes give you not even delusions of grandeur but it can sometimes it can be for the negative honestly i, I think there's i think there's a utility in being redacted like brendan i think so and i'm being 100 honest i think there's a utility i think there's a benefit to being redacted 
or to being regarded i think it actually does work in your favor <laughs> the more regarded you are the better it is for you i swear to god that is i don't know you know i don't have any proof no evidence just pure vibes but i think that's the truth i honestly do think that's the truth <laughs>